All right, so one thing is true, you and I both know it, the world as a whole and all countries within are reeling from decentralization. Cryptocurrency hit, it came in, and it turned out to be an extraordinary new boom in the world of currency as a whole. Now, if you take countries like China, you'll see that there is an absolute overall engulfing ban on all that is cryptocurrency. You cannot collect it, you cannot mine it, you cannot use it as a form of payment. There's actually nine countries that have completely banned cryptocurrency. Countries like Tunisia, there is zero cryptocurrency allowed. On the other hand, you have a country like El Salvador, which adopted Bitcoin as a national currency. Now, El Salvador as a whole is an entirely different video because it is somewhat strange that you have a decentralized currency that is essentially centralized around one company. That company then uses their holdings of Bitcoin to distribute it as a form of payment, say for employees. Employees would then be paid as a form of Bitcoin. They would have Bitcoin loaded onto a company card, which they could then take to a Bitcoin ATM and cash out for their native currency, or they could use it to purchase goods and services inside the country. Well, now we have Thailand. In late March 2022, Thailand came out and said, we are banning cryptocurrency, kind of. So they took a very interesting approach, and it may just be the beginning. As it develops, of course, we're going to be bringing that news to you. Thailand said, we are banning cryptocurrency as a form of payment which means people that live inside of Thailand can still mine, transfer, trade, and collect cryptocurrency. They could stake cryptocurrency if they want, they just can't use it as a form of payment. Now this makes cash cards like Coinbase's crypto debit card pretty much illegitimate and now illegal inside of Thailand which raises a lot of questions. If I can mine Bitcoin, I can collect it, I can stake other cryptocurrencies, what is it going to be used for? Well, that is the big question. Like I said, with the entire world somewhat waging war on cryptocurrency, outside of El Salvador that is, what is going to happen to all of this regulation? We know that America with the SEC bringing up a lot of issues around what this cryptocurrency is being spent on, somewhat reminiscent, back then we had Silk Road, where it was very highly untraceable, untrackable transactions for many illegal activities, services, and items. We now see that they are taking the same approach to cryptocurrency. If they don't know who is spending what, and they don't know what they are buying it on, or what they are buying with it rather, they seem to have a serious issue, which I can kind of understand, but that really defeats the point of a decentralized currency. We know that Powell and the Fed have been saying that they want to come out with their own stablecoin. We know Ukraine, through Stellar Lumens, is also trying to come out with a national cryptocurrency or a stablecoin through the Bank of Ukraine, but with everything going on over there, we have not learned much more about that yet or where it's going. Now, it should be noted that Thailand saying they are banning cryptocurrency and mainly pointing out Bitcoin purchases, that didn't actually affect the overall price of Bitcoin with a very small percentage of the overall Bitcoin users actually residing in Thailand. So it is not making waves in the overall crypto market, but for people that live in Thailand, this is yet another restriction that is being imposed. This this is the further centralization and control of our decentralized cryptocurrency. Now, like I said, as more news and information comes out, we will be bringing that to you, but I would like to know your thoughts at home. What do you think about not only Thailand banning cryptocurrency as a payment, but also these other countries? There is nine other countries that have a sweeping cryptocurrency ban, not only for payment, but mining, collecting, and staking as well. 
What do you think this will do? What impact will this have? And will this be a gateway for more and more countries to come in with this cryptocurrency ban? Not only that, how does one exactly ban cryptocurrency when it is just that? It is decentralized. Me and myself in the cryptocurrency world, at least on ETH, is simply a long string of numbers and letters. There is no ledger or transaction history outside of the blockchain that will link transactions directly to yourself or myself or anyone that uses it. We have seen that certain companies like MetaMask are coming out saying that they will be doing sweeping IP bans in countries that have these laws. As that develops, as we learn more, we will be able to explain what exactly that means and the impact it will have, especially with MetaMask coming out with their ICO, their airdrop, their token, their DAO, and much more. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this, how will this impact you, how will this impact crypto and the views around crypto worldwide. Not only that, but do you think that when a centralized cryptocurrency comes out, such as the one that Stellar Lumens is helping the Bank of Ukraine develop, or the Fed and the SEC are trying to develop here in America, how do you think that will impact everything, and do you think it will see the same adoption as the native decentralized cryptocurrency we've had for many years now. Let me know in the comments down below. As always, stay profitable and keep hustling.